Hello everybody, welcome to my series where I'll be talking all about the Keke Genkai in Naruto. Of course, as the title suggests, this video is going to be on the Sharingan. You can go watch my video on the Uchiha clan if you still want to know more about the clan that possesses the Sharingan. The name Sharingan literally translates to copy will I, and like most dojutsu, the Uchiha Sharingan is a genetic remnant of the time of their ancestor Kaguya. The Sharingan and Renegon both originally were a part of the same Kekemura, the Reni Sharingan. Kaguya's Reni Sharingan contained both powers of the Renegon and Sharingan with some additional abilities unique only to the Reni Sharingan like Amino Minaka, the ability to move surrounding areas to different dimensions, or Infinite Tsukiyomi, arguably one of the greatest Genjutsu abilities that has ever existed. This isn't to be confused with other forms of Renegon like Irishiki and Sasuke's which do look similar in appearance. The Rene Sharingan Kekemura wasn't inherited by Kaguya's kids Hagoromo and Hamura, instead it was split into two different Keke Genkai abilities that continue on today as two of the three great dojutsu. The Sharingan's power is acquired when an Uchiha suffers a traumatic event. This happens because a unique chakra is released into their eyes awakening the first stage of the Sharingan. This will continue until they fully awaken the ultimate prowess, the Mongekyo Sharingan. It's known to only activate once an Uchiha who's already unlocked and mastered their Sharingan witness the death of a friend. So surprisingly, there have been Uchiha who've killed their clansmen in an attempt to achieve the heightened form of the Sharingan's power. After the loss of someone so important, Uchiha can also fall victim to their own despair. This is called the Uchiha's Curse of Hatred. The greatest example of this happening was after Madara's last brother Izuna Uchiha, who was killed by Tobiramu Senju. Though it's rare, people like Sasuke have been known to come out of the Uchiha's curse by adopting the Senju's will of fire. Moving on to the Sharingan stages, the first stage contains all of the yet to be mentioned abilities that's associated with the Sharingan, while the second and third stage grants better power and effectiveness to those abilities. The final stage of the Sharingan transformation, known as the Mungekyo Sharingan, grants two unique abilities, one for each eye, as well as a third power, the ability to summon a humanoid avatar called Susano. Of course, those who reach the final progression of the Sharingan shouldn't rely on its greatest powers. Ninja who get to this stage in their transformation actually begin to go blind if they use their Mungekyo Sharingan. Mungekyo abilities put a strain on its user's eyesight, and a sign of the eye's deterioration from overuse is bleeding. With the exception of Hagoromo and Indra, who are both born with a Sharingan that doesn't fade over time. In order for an Uchiha to freely use their Mungekyo Sharingan abilities without any adverse effects, they will need to obtain a permanent version of the Mungekyo Sharingan. This is of course called the Eternal Mungekyo Sharingan, and the only way that the EMS can be acquired is by attaining somebody else's Sharingan eyes. This doesn't give them the previous user's eyesight abilities, it only makes it so that their new eyes never fade. For example, Sasuke kept his Amaterasu and Kagusuchi abilities after receiving Itachi's eyes. Of course, there are two abilities that'll still cause permanent and irreversible damage. These two forbidden Mungekyo Sharingan abilities are Izanagi, the ability to recreate a present event with a more desirable outcome, and Izanami, an unbreakable Genjutsu. Though it is possible to be able to get your eyesight back after using one of these two abilities, as it was shown with Madara, but he was only able to do so because he obtained the Renegon. And this is a good point as any to talk more about the Renegon. I'm planning on making a Renegon video of its own, so I'm only going to briefly go over the fundamentals. The Sharingan turns into the Renegon when someone either directly inherits Hagoromo's chakra like Sasuke, or when a descendant of Hagoromo like Madara infuses cells from his opposite reincarnate. So far, the only people other than the Utsutsuki like Agaromo and Kaguya to have awakened the Renegon all have been Uchiha clan members and that's all I have to say about the Renegon. Non-Uchiha like Kakashi have been shown to possess the Renegon. One thing to know is that clans with Keke Genkai generally don't let members outside of their clan live if their Keke Genkai has been compromised. For example, the Hyuga clan implements a curse mark that seals away the Byakugan if one of their clan members die. Kakashi was lucky in regards to the Uchiha let him keep Toby Sharingan out of respect for Obito's final wishes. This really doesn't have much to do with the Sharingan itself, but it's something good to keep in mind when talking about foreigners possessing other clans' dojutsu. 
When the Sharingan is implanted in the eyes of someone outside of the Uchiha family, it changes how the Sharingan functions. One of the first notable changes is that the Sharingan eye is always in an active state. For Kakashi, this multiplied with his relatively average chakra pool and the fact that for him to even use the Sharingan, it takes more chakra than if he was an Uchiha. Using Obito's Sharingan leaves his body in a diminished state. Over time, Kakashi has improved since the first time he was shown to have used the Sharingan abilities during part 1 when he fought against Zabuza. Increasing the frequency and strength of his Mangekyo Sharingan abilities without leaving his body in a state of chakra fatigue. In my opinion, the more impressive powers of the Sharingan fall within the Eye of Insight. It can be divided into three different parts. The first detects chakra, the second relates to clarity and perception, and the third understands how techniques work, allowing them to be copied. Like the Byakugan, the flow of chakra is visible to Sharingan users, but they see it a little bit differently, and comparing it to the Byakugan, what they see is extremely limited. The second ability granted through the power of insight is clear perception. This ability includes many things, and it's the most complicated ability of the Sharingan. The way I would explain it is it's sort of a catch-all for seeing things that would otherwise be undetectable. The Sharingan's perception doesn't just let them see motions that would normally be too fast, like a Jonin weaving hand signs or moving at Chidori speeds. The perception power of the Eye of Insight goes beyond that. All the things that go under this category are seeing pencil movements of someone else taking a test, noticing microscopic clay bombs and nanoviruses floating in the air, and surprisingly glimpsing into the mines without using Genjutsu. The third and last ability of the Eye of Insight is what we know the Sharingan for. When the Sharingan is activated, an Uchiha can see, understand, and copy any ninjutsu, genjutsu, or taijutsu abilities as long as their bodies permit it. These exceptions include opening of the eight gates and copying nature transformations that they don't already have the ability to perform. The second branch of the Sharingan is the Eye of Hypnotism. Only one ability falls under this branch and that is the Sharingan's basic Genjutsu. The degree of success varies entirely based upon the opponent's ability to detect and escape Genjutsu. Against some ninjas it's been seen to hardly work at all and it's also been seen to have total control of somebody else's mind. The Sharingan's generic Genjutsu is the reason why Uchiha are known for controlling tailed beasts and Itachi, a master of Genjutsu, by the time he was a Genin, was exceptionally good at using the Sharingan's Eye of Hypnotism. This doesn't mean that the Sharingan isn't without its drawbacks. The Sharingan doesn't increase or improve the Taijutsu or speed of its holder to match the Sharingan's speed. This means that it's possible to not be able to keep up with the Sharingan, especially for new Sharingan users. As I've stated earlier in the video, that when an Uchiha's eye fully awakens, it's granted a special ability but I haven't really talked about what those abilities are. One of the main elements to understand is that the power lies solely within the eye. If the Sharingan is lost or it becomes dull, then the Uchiha will not retain the ability that they once had. As to these abilities, no two Uchiha members so far have been shown to have exactly the same Ungekyo ability, but there have been Uchiha with the same ability in each eye. For example, Shisui's Sharingans both had the Koto Matsukami ability. I didn't want to include this into the video, but all of the clones of Shin had this same Mangekyo ability since Shin was able to duplicate his own Mangekyo Sharingan. There still could be Mangekyo Sharingan abilities that are similar, like Itachi's and Sasuke's Amaterasu, but Itachi's Amaterasu varied in that it was able to extinguish his own flames of blaze release. I also want to point out that Toby Rama also stated that in his time he fought against other Uchiha before Sasuke and Utachi whose Mangekyo Sharingan could use a similar blaze release to Amaterasu. Some of the most powerful Genjutsu and Ninjutsu shown in Naruto come from Mangekyo abilities. Examples of some of the greatest abilities of all time coming from ordinary Mongekyo Sharingan users include Itachi's left eye Sukiyomi, stated to only last less than a picosecond, yet could break the will or kill any shinobi Itachi felt like using it on. Another example of this happening, since we haven't explained a lot about specific Mongekyo abilities, was in Obito. His right and left Sharingan had connected abilities, allowing him to use them in tandem similarly to Minato's flying thunder god technique. 
and on top of that, Obito could assimilate parts of his body or travel entirely to his very own pocket dimension. Final power of the Mungekyo Sharingan manifests only once the Mungekyo is awakened in both Sharingan eyes. This is important because we've seen it's entirely possible to progress in one eye before the other. The ultimate ability of the Uchiha's Dojutsu is the capability to summon large manifestations of their own will called Susano. The Susano is not a beast that can just be summoned in full form right away, unless you're this guy. His Susano was as large as the Tentails, by the way. Users who obtain the Mungekyo need to practice building their Susano to make it more powerful. It's kind of a catch-22 because activating the Susano causes the user's eyes to fade even more quickly. Like other Mungekyo abilities, Uchiha with the Eternal Mungekyo Sharingan don't have any issue with summoning their Susano. The most common way Uchiha's have used their Susano in the past have been to manifest their Susano's ribcage as a last resort for protection, or using an arm for an offensive attack. Susano are celestial forms generated from the spirit of the wielder and their emitted chakra. It puts a tremendous strain on the Uchiha's body and eyes. The greatest wielders of the Sharingan can summon the complete body of a Susano, including the wings for flight. This is known to many fans as the perfect Susano. I'm not going to go into all of the variations of the different users of Susano, but they all carry at least one weapon, and Renegon Susano have the ability to block the effects of Kaguya's infinite Tsukiyomi. Like and subscribe. Bye.